Well, hello everyone. We are taking a load of bales. We got the ranchero here. We got it loaded down. We got a little calf bales. My wife is helping me. And boy, oh boy, is she going slow. I can't pass her because she's going over a hill. I don't know if that's just too much for that uh, old V8 International. She is loaded down with bales. Oh, holy cow, is she going slow. You can pick it up any time today, lady. You think he, she can hear this over that V8? Find another gear there, lady. She's gonna be so mad at me. Guess I'm probably gonna have to sleep on the couch. We did a little trade with a neighbor because we ended up running out of bales. We're gonna do a little bit of helping once it's springtime for him. Uh, just to make us through once the grass gets tall enough where we can pasture or bring let our cattle out to our pasture and we needed a few uh, small squares here for the calves yeah that's about the perfect uh perfect thing to use small squares for is calves hobby farm or horses uh, otherwise they get to be a little bit of a nuisance or you just can't do uh, large-scale uh, operations with little squares, let's just say that. I decided to take the beautiful ranchero out just for the fact, uh, why? It's, uh, it's a car and it's a truck. Why not? Alright, get these offloaded. Stop balling there, calves. Alright, that job's done. Let's see, uh, I still don't see my wife. Holy cow, she's finally coming up the driveway. Whew, you talk about slow. I need a, I don't know if she knows anything past first or second gear there. She's sure either that or she's scared to drive it. So the plan is today to start chiseling up our corn ground right down here. And I did notice when I was coming up here yeah, I could see one already. There's a few rocks in this field. Probably going to have to do some rock picking before we uh, start chiseling, let's just say. And, uh, yeah. Otherwise, it ends up being a bad deal. I guess you could chisel around them. Why did my wife leave this uh, old double stack running here? Shut this beautiful baby off. We got a full load of some grass bales here. Uh, all right. So I'm thinking that's on the plow. That's on there. Uh, the Steiger again. I think I'm going to put the Steiger on the chisel. I'm going to have to unhook it and fill it up with fuel. Unhook it from the planter. Put it on the chisel. First... We need to pick some rocks. I guess probably the best thing to use is a 4020. What should I put them in? I guess the good thing is, is I own a truck business. So we're going to just use the Cheyenne dump truck. That's the only truck I have available. It's only a one ton. So we'll have to be a little bit careful on the size of rocks we end up putting in it. go. Get the 4020 route there running. And I'm going to have to come back and get my dump truck. Hopefully I can put these, I mean some of these rocks I might just be able to uh, run to the side. Yeah, you know what? Second thought. I think I'm just going to push them to the side of the field here. And we'll pick them up. Uh, next year or next winter all right there we go in the bucket i wish they would make like a rock picker or something where i could just uh, pull that along hydraulically powered put them into the bucket because uh you ain't picking these rocks up by hand any rock you can pick up by hand you don't really worry about say that because we got rocks out here the size of boats wagons they uh the ground freezes and they kind of with the ice layer and everything they kind of force them out of the ground i think there was one up here 
that I missed along the way. Luckily, I didn't put any of these through the harvester. There's a one. Finally. That one. Oh, 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 man. Oh, I'm just gonna end up sliding. I've had nothing but trouble. Thing is, it's, it's like it has springs in this rock or something. There we go. Push it on the other side. The grass field. We'll have to remember that when we, uh, are mowing. Now there was another one right up here. I remember seeing. Uh oh. Uh oh. Yeah, man. I don't think the 4020 has it in it. Remember, I told you these things are like Volkswagens? Ugh. Man, that's bigger than our cattle. There is no way, shape, or form. I'm gonna have to dig out a whole valley here. I don't even know if I can pull that thing out. That thing might go under the ground two stories. You never know. Yeah, she, she don't even want to contend with this. Uh-oh. Yeah, this is uh, my worst nightmare. Yeah. You know what? We might have to end up farming around that. At least, you know, maybe we might try to get it out before we start planting. I don't know. That thing is huge. I know, I know. That's what she said. All right. Done with the 4020, I think. Or everything the 4020 can at least do. We're done with. Park this back into its little hide a home. I think I'm just gonna gas up the 40. We're gonna use uh, the 5020. I should really have duels on it, but uh, I don't know. That way I don't have to unhook that planter. I will take the Bronco. Got the fuel tank in the back of the Bronco here. The gas up. Gas up the 5020 here. Before we head out. is a repowered here and it is a beast been running this what is this a six bottom seven seven bottom plow like a champ we needed to chisel I don't want to uh, plow our fields oh yeah love the way this thing idles such a beast, such a view here on the cab. You know, it's such a nice day. We're just gonna do some uh, open station chiseling here. Look up to our John Deere here, chisel plow. And hopefully I can get this field chiseled up so we can start maybe with some corn plant here soon. Yeah, yeah, I got that beast back. She's back. Well, I was a little worried she went she went poor, but uh, we don't have nothing to worry. I am going downhill though right now, so that might be the issue. She's a up here. Pick her up. Yeah, we're we're chiseling right on the road here can't let any of this. We need every acre we could possibly get so we can take over this county. We got a pretty good chunk of field here. It's 80 acres. Uh, we're going to put it corn on corn. Corn back into what was last year's corn crop, as you can tell. 
Oh, I got some little square bales. I didn't drop them. Where the heck? Did somebody else drop them? Little square bales on the edge of my field over there in the ditch. Hmm. I got some more. Wow, it almost looks like somebody might have dropped them on the highway and somebody just scooted them off. You never know nowadays, you know. A lot of these, uh, let's say, local town folk around here, they, they try to just drop off the strangest things in the middle of your field. What the heck? Oh my goodness. So I deal with this every single year. I live so close to the town here, when people just can't throw away their trash, this looks like a trash can here, they just kind of leave it into my field. Yeah, we got a regular trash can, we got tires stuck out here. Don't they know this is my land? I just can't have, it's just not respectable to people's land, but I guess. There we go. It's one of the downfalls of uh, being having land right by the highway here. We get a lot of that stuff. We usually, we'll just come by with the dump truck, pick that all up. Oh my goodness, we got another trash bag right here. These guys are just unrelenting. Unrelenting. Yep. Neighborhood. Uh, trash collector I guess I am plowing up look at her smoke she's smoking away that's a big chisel you can see it's everything this tractor has really should have duels on this tractor so I don't have so much slippage but uh, she's getting her done uh oh uh oh 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 man I did not even see that rock right here. Ooh, did we break anything? No. It's surprising. I guess I'm gonna have to lift my uh, chisel out of the ground here. Uh, I don't think I lost a point. I guess the spring system worked. Uh, I'm gonna have to have mark this. Put a flag here or something, I guess. Uh, definitely not do not want to run this over with the planter. Oh man, this thing is as big as a tractor. Oh, what was that? Oh man. Oh, that ain't good. Oh man, broke a point off right there. That thing is a, a giant piece of rock there. Whew. Yep. She's big right there. I'm gonna have to probably get the 4020 over here again, dig out around her, and yeah, dig out around this thing, and then hopefully we can get the chain underneath her. Whew, she's big. Yeah, fire up the old stagger in the 4020. The beast awakens. She can warm up. She has to be nice and warm by the time we use her. Alright. So, get a load of dirt. Run this over to the side. Hate to do this, but we're going to put some topsoil into our uh, right by the road here few more scoops probably till she gets far enough down so we can put a chain around her. Alright, one last scoop of fresh topsoil here. Good thing the cops ain't around so you don't see me doing this. This probably violates something. Alright, I guess we can try the old chain now. I'm gonna have to put a big old logging chain on this thing. 
don't want to break it. Let's go. Fire away. Oh, oh, oh. Come on. Come on. You can do it. Oh, she doesn't want to go. Come on, Steiger. Ooh, yeah. She uh, given everything she has. All right. I got my wife out here. She is uh, smoking up the whole neighborhood. I mean, holy cow. Look at that thing. Whew. She is trying though. She's giving it all the oil that thing tractor has a stiger. Ugh. Oh, this thing just doesn't want to come out of the ground. Oh my goodness. We're going to have another Volkswagen after we're done. But thank you all for watching. And I will see you next time. Over here in Rockville. get frustrated and the rocks got you down of course you got to do a little dragon don't forget like the video Woo